Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. How is everybody doing? I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all too. So as you can see, your girl is back. We about to be doing some more reactions. We're gonna be making a lot of people happy. We're gonna make a lot of people feeling good. And you know, we're not gonna let nothing stop us, you guys. We're not gonna let nothing stop us. Okay, so as you can see today, your girl is going to be reacting to another um, another reaction. And it's going to be, of course, our favorite guy, Justin R. Whitehead. Shout out to him. Make sure y'all check him out. Um, so yeah, and it's going to be my 600 pound life. So I know y'all are ready for this laughter on the YM because we all need it because laughter is the best medicine. But before we get started, I wanna throw out this disclaimer right now to let y'all know when I'm reacting to my 600 pound life, I am not laughing at the person's condition. I'm only laughing at the uh, commentator that's pretty much reacting to the video itself. So, but before we get started, you guys, make sure you guys like, and subscribe and let us get right into it. So when I walk it gets in the way and I can only move at a glacial pace. Have you ever seen a penguin walk where they they walk side to side? That's what I feel like when I walk. Well, I'm glad you damn knew it. <laughs> On a good day, I can walk maybe fifty feet and then I have to rest. On a bad day, just the physical act of carrying all the weight on my stomach. Wow, my lymphedema is tugging. This is the first goddamn thing he did. And that is so intense, mm. I want to pass out. I remember growing up, you always saw those commercials of those little people that are like, help, I'm falling, I can't get up. And you always laugh at it and you think, oh, ha ha, how funny. Damn. Oh, goddamn, now come on. Blow the fucking front out, too. <laughs> I be goddamn. I make sure wow. Hmm. I was taking a shower. I could scream loud enough for my phone to dial 911, and then 911 could come over because my door was unlocked and they could get in. Man, they can kick that fucking door down and that shit you live in. Man, cover that shit up. Nobody want to see that. And then with your goddamn leg hoist up on that fucking tub like that. Wow. <laughs> Man, come on now. Cover that shit up, too! <laughs> Justin, yo. Smell me, goddammit! Wait a minute, hold on. Let me pause this. Did he just say... Did he just say... Smell me or spell me? I don't... I don't know if, if he said either smell me. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Let me let me rewind that back. Hold on, because I wanna I wanna know what he said. Does it sound like he said "smell me"? I don't I don't know. I could be wrong. Probably all the way wrong. Oh my god, let's see. Hey. Man, come on now. Cover that shit up too. Smell me, goddammit. it. <laughs> I think he said, smell me. <laughs> Would you look at that shit now? Oh, my Lord. Panties. Stop. What in the fuck is he enough scrubbing with? <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. I swear to God, I want to know who in the fuck in charge of the damn blur. Cause this little damn strip ain't no fucking enough. Where the damn tire went, man? You just gonna walk your naked ass out there in front and sit the crack of your ass on that damn thing and you ain't touch your back, your ass, or nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I ain't ran that brush through the crack of his ass now fucking time. Mm. <laughs> I know damn. 
You ain't sending out no goddamn fan. Air dryer. And oh my, the thought of eating. What the fuck did he just say to me? I can't. I can't with this doll. I wish the fuck I would come in that kitchen and catch you ran right back in that damn chair, letting that fucking fan dry your pet ass off. Now, that ain't no goddamn breakfast. In now damn country, is that fucking breakfast? Wow. Look at him. Look, 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 look. look. Well, I just be goddamn. Look at that shit, I ain't gonna lie though. Some tacos he about to smash. That stuff do look good, but shit, that that's that's too many though. Like that's that's overindulging. But you know, let us let us continue to watch. I snuffed them goddamn raps that with. Whatever the fuck that is. How many more are you gonna earn fucking follow that man? Mm. That better be the last damn one. Because who in the fuck can sit there and eat out? Look at that goddamn amount. I do what I need to do to be comfortable. Now that's a goddamn shame. And you gonna prop the shit up right down your fucking fat ass belly. Mm. Mm. It's like I like to eat them so much that when I've been chewing, I cram it in and I get this high off it. No. Just I don't know how to describe it. I want another damn thought. Listen at this shit. <laughs> and he's sitting there just letting the damn wind blowing his ass like he'd be on the fucking concert. <laughs> no way. I don't give a <laughs> goddamn. It's a damn problem now. He do not care about how you come up. He do not care about that shit. That's crazy. Don't fucking talk me to death about nothing. Give a mm -hmm. damn what your daddy did. This story about your fat ass. <laughs> no. Look, 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 look. Y'all got the nerve to blur that shit out. We don't want to see that part or nothing else. Hell. I discovered how to party. And uh, it was on. Oh, my God. Look. That's a crying goddamn shame. Shut the damn door. Close the fucking door. Have some fucking privacy. Some damn decency, man. Mm. Hurry up and put them damn britches on. Wow. Get to the next damn part of the fucking show. That's what all them goddamn sandwich uh, breakfast fucking wraps get your ass. Damn. Wow. You know, I was already teetering with depression from mm. my weight and everything. And so the stress just got to be a lot. I lost wow. my job. Lost my apartment. Lost my car. I had to move in with my parents. And your ass still eating after you done lost all that? You done lost everything but some goddamn weight. And kind of had a little mm. bit of a, a nervous breakdown, if you want to say That's that. your damn fault. And look, and go climb right back in the goddamn bed. <clears throat> Dang. Dang. Now, who in the fuck is this? Your damn daddy come here. I bet he finna haul your big ass somewhere to get something else to damn eat. Why this? Because where else you going? I knew it. Fucking groceries. I fucking knew it. Where else you damn going? <laughs> you lost your goddamn job and everything else. <laughs> and I know you ain't got no fucking friends. And I know this shithole here don't sell nothing but fucking pig fire meat. So goddamn country ass fucking gas station you going to shop in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He said country ass. I don't know if he said gas station 
in a grocery store. I believe he said grocery store. That's oh man, man. And you wouldn't come out the damn house with me looking like that. His shirt is tied down. What kind of fucking grocery store got a damn dough like that? That's how I know you finna go in there and get a bunch of those stankin' ass meat that you can't even damn freeze. <laughs> yeah. No way. No, you won't. If you can't get your fat ass through this store and get that meat, you won't get it. You won't get it at all. Wow. Look at it. You're damn right you're done. I don't know You wouldn't fucking go nowhere with me. See. Mm. I'll be damned if I do your fucking shopping for you. Wow. No goddamn Uber and Instacart. Hey, you think you're going to be much longer? I'm, I'm ready to go. And, and I'm, I'm going to be as long as I fucking need to see, be. See, see. Cause your ass ain't had to damn go. See, now hold on. That would have been, that would have pissed me off right there. You know, you rushing me. No, no, no. We going to the grocery store. I'm helping you get you some groceries, you know, for your place. And then, you know, we going there. Okay, you tired or what? We can't stand up. Okay, okay, cool. Send the car. But don't sit up and call me and telling me, uh, hurry up. I'm ready to go. Don't do that because you'll get cussed out. I'm just saying because see, I don't, I don't like, I don't like people that be that be doing that. Like be rushing you and you know rush you and stuff. You know, and it's just it's ridiculous. Like don't do that. You get cussed. Man, if that was me, I would have been calling and cussing him out with all different type of cuss words. I come up with some stuff, okay? But that is ridiculous. Ain't <laughs> and he's the parent, and you know, and you know, and he talked to his father like that. Like, come on, that's crazy. God damn. Of the the fucking gall. Call my damn say your phone asking me for and, and how long I'm a damn be. See? I start a fucking conversation right there at the damn register. It is my drug of choice. Food was euphoric for me. I'm mitigated, goddamn. Uh, uh, I know it. <laughs> I know that damn Hyundai catching hell. What was that? I'm embarrassed. You ought to be. You ought to yeah. damn be. You damn should be. Yeah. You goddamn blob. Come a blob shit. You ought to be a goddamn shame of yourself. Good. Mm. <laughs> I know that bitch catching hell. They put a post in them damn trucks. Good. Damn. You know what? That's it. Sit down and wallow in that for a minute. And daddy, you ain't making it no goddamn better feeding him so, that bullshit. So like, Let him know he's a damn. Nothing. Yeah. Food was euphoric for me. Yeah. Food was euphoric. Now get the fuck out. Don't you get your ass back in here no damn more. Don't no, like. But I get big because I eat, but I eat because I feel bad. But even. With now, you need your ass whooped too, Pop. Yeah. Food is my security blanket. I use it as a reward, and I eat so much, and I cram it in, but I usually don't stop until the food is gone. I know it. I can uh, tell you. Now, who in the fuck put that pot right there? That's how I know the damn camera folk be sitting. Mm. You ain't happening. You get your country wow. ass out of there, because you, <laughs> you could have got his ass some healthy shit in there. Yeah. He eating. Now, none of that shit came from the goddamn grocery store. Where in the fuck that come from? That's the damn... Wow. Wow. You're damn right you yes, have. You're sitting there eating that goddamn poor pork shit. You ain't even, you could have cooked some of the damn shit your daddy bought back from the fucking grocery store. 
And you want me to sit here and believe you want to damn do better for yourself? Bitch. Wow. If you got the damn turn the cup to that side and do all that, ain't nothing up in the damn cup. Oh, yeah, that's it. Drink vitamin water. <laughs> wow. I wish that damn she would have enough to burn his damn lip. You know, it's sad. Let me pause this for a bit. You know, it's it's very sad and heartbreaking, you know, to see people, you know, indulge themselves with a lot of food, you know, and um <clears throat> I can understand that, you know, some people in the family, you know, they will, you know, overfeed, you know, their kids as they little. And then when they get bigger, you know, they still, you know, cater to them and get them anything that they want, you know. And then it's just like, as far as like when people be going through depression or anxiety or something like that you know i understand i understand that but that shouldn't food shouldn't be the only source you know my opinion y'all could take it and leave it but i feel like food shouldn't be the the um shouldn't be the only source of comfort because you know nowadays the food that's out here now is is not good for you it got so much shit in it that you know that will basically harm you in the long run you know and um you know it's 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 really heartbreaking to see that you know people having you know health issues can't walk is is just unbelievable that you know seeing people this massive eating like that you know and that's why i always say you know, when you go through go through different situations at home or just a daily life, you know, talk to someone. If y'all in a relationship, you know, have that conversation with, with your partner about it. Maybe, you know, y'all could come up with something to help each other, you know, go see some type of therapy or counseling, just any anything. But food is so like I told y'all before, food is like a drug. Once, you know, once you, you know, get your roll off, get your roll off on the food. And then once that food is gone, it's like, dang, you know, you got to get some more food, you know, eat some more stuff. And some of these foods out here ain't healthy. And, you know, it's not, it's not cool. It's it's not cool at all. But I hope this person, um, you know, seek help. And I hope he, you know, was able to lose weight. But I know we're not finished with the video yet. So, Cause we got about like, what, 13 minutes? No, 14 minutes left. So yeah, so. Let's we'll see what in the fuck you done now. No. It's been a month, you still got that shit on? <laughs> Damn. Good. Just about an hour from here, there is a world-class surgeon who works on people my size. And I've known about him for a while, and I finally decided that it's time for me to go see him. Man, y'all gonna tear that goddamn truck up. Whatever the fuck that is. Ooh, it's cold in here. So get your fucking ass in here and put them damn seatbelts on. How the fuck does he know? He don't damn drive. Mm -mm. No, get your ass in here asking these stupid ass questions. You know how much fucking gas it take to get some damn wire? You don't want the fucking wheel. <laughs> the fuck you asking him about a damn eighth of a tank for? Wow. They gonna tear that damn wheel up, that boy. It's nice and cold in this damn car, isn't it? I turned it on a little bit early. <laughs> you damn right it's cold. I know it is kitchen here. There you go. 
Bob, when they park that bitch, you're going to be able to light a cigarette on that transmission. Mm -hmm. Well, why in the fuck you go in the grocery store and buy all that shit for them then? Mm -hmm. Then let her order up all that damn barbecue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's your damn fault. Where else you gonna fucking see it? Should have rented a goddamn U-Haul. You want but a damn hour away. And you just shut the fuck up and ride. Mm. You knew that damn wheel was too... Look, look, just look at that damn automobile. You knew it was fucking too little for him in the damn way. I hope he wants something new to ride in, because that's going to be it. Ain't no damn way they're going to be able to get too much more out of that. Hmm. Ain't no need to blur it out in front of that bitch. Let us see who make these <laughs> tough motherfuckers. <laughs> be able to haul a goddamn whale well out up the fucking road. Here, and my anxiety is really, really bad. Doctor, now might be the last chance that I have. And when you leave the damn doctor, go to the barbershop and shave the rest of that shit off your damn head. Got a fucking sunroof up there and you still trying to hold on to that shit. Damn. Big forehead motherfucker. <laughs> That's why, man, I'm through with this comedy shit. I'm finna go around and be a damn life coach. I'm sick of the dumb shit. Have your ass up! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wow. God damn it, if I have to tell you again, I'll go get back in the damn truck myself. Wes? Yep. Don't even sit down. Get your ass on back there. Back well, you ain't now. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Hoping you below six fifty. Sam fifty. I knew it. God damn it. Damn. I ain't had the numbers in the right order. But I knew it was gonna be a goddamn Sam five and a zero on that bitch. Wow. I felt it in my damn soul. Wow. And I make a damn bit of sense, man. Wow. You you wipe your big ass on in here and let me talk to you. Too much time before getting help. My situation has gotten so much worse. I just pray the doctor now will help me. Wow. No. I ain't gonna make a damn bit of sense, man. That's a lot of worse. You you wipe your big ass on in here and let me talk to you. Too much time before getting help. My situation has gotten so much worse. I just pray the doctor now can help me. No, damn it. Damn, mm. doctor, now you need me. I be goddamn. Wow. Look at me now, rap back in disbelief. Damn it, that, it it's right. Hello. Yeah. Hey, y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, And don't go give me that shit about that right. shit on your damn leg. Yeah. That's your fucking fat ass weigh that much. This is my dad, Rick. Mm-mm. Nice to meet you guys. All right, you are 700 pounds. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 Don't you come here with that stupid shit either, Doc. I know, a few years ago, the last time I weighed was probably about three or four years ago, and I was like 650 pounds. And what the fuck you think have so for six years, years, and you sitting there eating up damn wraps and, and fucking barbecue and shit like that? So, what is going on in the past few days? 
He fucking eating, dog. What do you think? Oh my God. When you eat food, you feel better. You find food to comfort you. So what is you really trying to avoid by doing that? Um, there's a lot of things in my past that I'm probably working through, and I probably use food to. I wouldn't give a damn about none of that. Go on, tell them what the damn plan is, dog. Don't hand me this shit here. I live by myself, but I live close to my family, to my dad and my aunts, and so they're over pretty regularly. So you sit at home on the most of the time and eat. Yeah. So your BMI is 112. Mm. Your normal BMI is 18 to 25. And being over 100 BMI is very high. Your weight is putting a lot of strain on your body right now. No, dog. Right now, I want to fucking thought that. Really serious wow. issue with your weight, and you tolerating that at the moment. But you're getting older, and on top of wear and tear from the strain of your weight on your body for years. So very soon things gonna change, and your body gonna get to a point where you can't go on like this anymore. Then yeah. that thing is going to. I could have told him that shit, dog. Out that, that. Come on, dad. Let him know what the fuck the damn deal is, so we can get to it. <laughs> and tell his stupid ass dad over there to quit bringing him shit. We're going to damn see. I can live and do things on my own again. What is something you want to do with your life? I've always, um, uh, always wanted to be on stage <laughs> in front of people, talk, act, whatever, things like that. I always loved it. It was always a passion of mine. Hopefully this will allow me to get up and, and do that again. Well, keep that dream. Well, when they do Charlotte well, you will be a, a fucking good pick. Okay. The first step is to show me that you're ready for this. You want to damn be on stage. With your current weight, you have to lose at least 100 pounds. And this is the Three little pigs or something here. You ain't, you ain't no goddamn little pig. <laughs> you need to stick to it. <laughs> Fucking free will up, so just, just stick around to the end. If you do that, then we consider you for weight loss surgery. But if you're not able to do that weight, not only we won't be able to do your surgery because how compromised your system is, but there'll be no point of doing weight loss surgery because if you aren't willing to work at this, then the surgery will eventually fail and won't change anything. Okay? okay. So at this point, you need to start working hard to change your life. Okay. You think you can do that? Yes. Fuck no. All right. Any questions? No. No, sir. Alright, so I'm gonna bring you some stuff and see if we can get you going in the right direction. Alright, thank you, sir. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Now, see, the thing is with this weight loss surgery, you know, um, not all, but some people, they, they expect that, you know, since you that big, they think that you could just go on and just cut off the fat. Like, no, you have to literally change your diet and, you know, eventually... You know, once you start losing the weight, you know, skin is going to sag, you know, and some people don't, some people don't know that. Some people just think that, you know, oh, I'm big. Can you just cut off the fat? Like, no, you have to literally lose the weight, you know, and then when your skin is saggy, then they could, you know, do what they need to do. But, um, but it's really a maze that how our bodies work. Because it's like, you know, for him to be that big, I know like his like his blood, like every organ in his body is working like so, so hard, pretty much around the clock. You could just, you know, just picture like our organs is like, you know, workers, you know, they work inside our bodies every day. You know, they clean up, you know, they clean stuff that's not supposed to be there. You know, you know, they regulate our blood, our sugar, and it's like, just picture like our body is like a, a machine. Just picture it, you know. And I could just, I just can't, I just can't imagine, you know, that his body is constantly, constantly working like 
around the clock because of his weight and you'll be you'll be amazed how our bodies operate you know it's 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 really something you should have told look at the goddamn shit and slip through the damn pants now i didn't damn see that mm. and he rewinded it back <laughs> Yeah. That's a crying goddamn shame, that man. I can't force you. No. Wes had let himself get to a very dangerous place with himself. And I'm concerned about him because he is over 700 pounds and his BMI is over 110. His BMI is over 110. So it is just a matter of time before his body gives up. So it's very important that Wes turn things around. Wow. This shit down there look like a damn gristle on the head. Right, it is. You know, goddamn well, he ain't gonna be able to do that. If you're gonna fucking read it for him, then don't even damn put in the packet. Mm -mm. Come on, we gotta damn go. <laughs> Damn, he lose 500 pounds. From here, it's all up to us. No one but him can make the choice change, as he doesn't have anything to waste. The fuck they stick in there for, man? God Damn. If you do, then we'll consider watching him. So we just have to give you every night to make the changes. I bet the zombies can get something to eat. Okay. 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 And tell me if you need anything, call. Yes. Mm. All right. We'll see you guys. You. I'm goddamn shot. He'll neither. Wow. Mm. You're damn. Oh, God. Come here. I'm nuts. That's a damn pain. Embarrassing me. Put your ass up and come on. Okay, I don't know why the sound is doing this. I think that's on his end, not on my end. But, um, yeah. What are you doing? Don't damn eat it, death. I think it's going to be very hard for me to do. I have no other options. This is my last year. Believing the doctor, you know that. That damn. Now, look at that. <laughs> I'll be damn. I'll the clown, man. I think very hard. Damn. What the hell? Now, you don't just damn to this. Look, I'll be damn. Okay. Now, look at that. 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 Okay, so all right. Um, <clears throat> I know like the words is kind of like reversed. So if y'all know what his name is, make sure y'all put it in the comments. But um, but pretty much, I hope y'all enjoy this video right here. Uh, I enjoyed it, you know. And uh, of course, Justin R. Whitehead, he always funny.
always funny, but I mean, he be telling like it is, you know, it's it's just too many sensitive people in the, <clears throat> too many sensitive people in the world that get upset easily, especially if you telling them the truth about things, you know, but that's okay. They need to grow more, you know, but anywho, y'all, so my thoughts on this, um, I hope, um, he, you know, uh, lost the weight on his um, journey. Um, I hope he made better choices because, you know, I always want y'all to give me updates on people because I know some of y'all watch this. So if y'all have, please let me know um, any updates as far as his weight loss journey, anything, you know. But one thing I got to say is that, you know, food is, Food can be very good, but it can also be deadly too. So, you know, just be mindful of your consumptions. You know, don't overindulge yourself, you know, because, I mean, shit. I know it could be difficult. It's difficult for all of us, you know. But, you know, if you're dealing with any type of anxiety, depression, just anything, you know, like I said, talk to someone, seek help, or do meditations. I know when I go through my depression, because I'm also dealing with depression too, you know, because since a lot of things been going on in my life, losing my grandfather <clears throat> and everything like that. So, you know, it's hard, you know, especially going through those type of situations, you know, losing someone that you really care about. So, I recommend, you know, doing meditation, sometimes going outside, getting sunlight, air can help, you know, or even, even that, listen to some music, you know, some positive, some positive music, like meditation music, you know, they got all that stuff on YouTube, you know, and that stuff really helps or read a book. I mean, there's many things to do to, you know, help you get your mind on the right track. But food is not one of them because you see how he got there. And now he has to, you know, he has to put in the effort, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, so he could lose the weight and he could get on the right track, you know. So, and losing weight is, is not easy, you know. Shit, it's been times where I'm like, shit, I wish they had like a pill, like, a small pill you take, you pop that in your mouth, and bam, the weight just come off. I wish stuff like that could be true, but at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even touch that because you know it might have a whole bunch of side effects that's gonna damage your body, and it ain't worth it. So, so pretty much, um, it's best to exercise, you know, move your body around and everything because by him just eating just just sitting up eating you know all day his body is not moving so that's like your lymphatic you know his lymphatic is probably clogged up you know just all kind of stuff is clogged up and um yeah it's it's messed up but anyway y'all but i hope y'all enjoyed the video um make sure you guys like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification the uh, notification bell so that way you'll miss out on any videos i have for you all but one thing i gotta say y'all i'm back i miss y'all very much i know y'all been wondering what's been going on but um but if y'all haven't checked my video that i posted um i don't know when was that it had to been like some weeks ago all right two weeks ago i believe where have i been make sure y'all check that out so that way y'all could catch up on what's been going on with me. So your girl gonna be posting videos. So other than that, this your girl Kitty Cam Vlog. And I will see y'all next time. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll see y'all. Bye.